leaders focusing on the top running backs in the Big Ten, Caleb Johnson and Kyle Manungai, both in the top four in the nation in rushing, but both held relatively in check last time out. In fact, of the top five backs in the league, only Jordan James went over 100 yards in his last outing. He had a career high 166 in the Ducks win over Michigan State. Uh, let's focus on Manungai and Rutgers. The last two games have not gone well for Rutgers offensively. They had that great start to the year. They were over 400 yards, three straight games. Now the last two, they've been under 300. Mm -hmm. What have you seen? Is it about the opponents? Is it about something with them? A little bit of both? Yeah, little, What's going on here? Definitely a little bit of both. And I, I think Cali McManus early in the season was playing some of the best ball of his career. But even he's dependent on Kyle Manungai. Like the, not just even, not even just the offense actually. Kind of the weight of the entire Rutgers football team is on the shoulders of Kyle Manungai. Good thing is, is he can carry it, but he needs some <laughs> yes. help. Nebraska, Nebraska did a great job on the interior of their defensive line, forcing Manungai to have to make cuts in the backfield. He's a powerful back. So once he gets a full head of steam, he's tough to bring down. But guys like Nash Hutmaker and Ty Robinson, they were winning at the point of attack getting into the backfield, and Manungai had to dance, which then puts Cali McManus in third and long situations. They've had some injuries and health issues at the receiver position. They've asked young guys to stand up, step up. Th that, that's just not where they're at right now. The good thing is this week is you're playing a Wisconsin team that's struggled to stop the run, and the interior of their defensive line is still finding itself. They got some guys you know, transferred out. Their D-lineman, James Thompson Jr., who was maybe their best defensive lineman, got hurt in camp. So this does feel like an opportunity for Manungai to get back on track. Of course, Wisconsin knows, hey, we got to stop the run. Right. Right. L let's focus on Wisconsin. It's just so interesting because I think we had so much conversation early on this year about who are they, what's their identity, what are they doing on offense, is this air raid going to work? with Phil Longo. I think there were questions about the defense as well yeah. as you brought up. Maybe not quite as acute, but there, there have been issues. The defense has not been at the level that it's been at previous years. And then they go out and just demolish Purdue. Yeah. 52 to 6. You called the game. How much of that was Wisconsin? How much of it is Purdue? Have they solved some of these issues here? Or are you expecting some of those to manifest themselves again against a football team that's playing a lot better than Purdue in Rutgers. You know, certainly some of it was Purdue, but I, from Wisconsin's standpoint, they don't care. They've just been wanting to see a game yeah. like that now, and, and it's really interesting, you know, as you lay it out. You know, Paul Christ is their coach. They win a ton of games. I believe they won the most games in the FBS without a playoff appearance, right? Yes. They have been dominant. So then they bring in Luke Fickle, and that was to try to elevate, try to chase those small percentage points. We knew there was going to be a transition bringing in the air raid, but here we are about a year and a half into his tenure, and they, they don't really have an offensive identity. That's, that's concerning. The good thing is, is, is to get back to the Purdue game. They found something. They gave themselves a chance to say, this is who we are. Anyone can do it once, though. You now have to do it twice to say definitively that, that that's your identity. I think they love their offensive line. I think they believe they can run the football now. Malusi steps away, condensing the carries to their top two backs, uh, Tawi Walker and Darion Dupree. I, I think they're finding themselves, and it's funny how it comes all the way back around offensively, running the football. I thought Longo had an interesting quote this week. He said, it helps them start to realize what they're capable of. Yes, exactly. And so I think that kind of speaks to your point. Are you going to do that every week? I think it would be foolish to think you're going to score 52 points every week and essentially be unstoppable. But this shows you, hey, we are a good offensive football team. When we get it going, we can blow someone out. And, and that was obviously what they did against Purdue. And now speaking of Purdue, they get Illinois.